17th of October. So this week we have got quite a, um, can be a difficult week, but it can also be a very fruitful week uh, if you choose how to kind of work with it. So essentially what we've got going on is Venus, planet of love and relationships, is moving into Scorpio. Uh, what this is going to do is it is going to get us to go a little bit deeper and darker in our relationships and the relationship that we have with ourselves. So it can um, look a little bit like uh, the Greek mythology of Persephone going down into the underworld. Uh, and she has to kind of learn all these like secrets of the underworld so that then she can come up again. This can kind of be a theme for what we're going through at the moment. We're going into the underworld of ourselves and our kind of ability to relate to other people. What you might find there is that, you know, perhaps you have some low confidence, some low self-worth, maybe you have um, some trust issues, uh, maybe you have some kind of emotional like ups and downs, whatever it is, don't, try not to beat yourself up about it, like it's not anything too, um, too bad, you know, but it's basically just there for you to um, try and transform it, kind of turn the dark into light, basically become aware of it. What this might do is that if you're not becoming aware of it, you know, it can become a little bit unconscious. Um, so you might have some kind of uh, emotional kind of feelings that you don't know where they came from. By the end of the week, we've got a full moon in Aries. Um, this is going to square Pluto. Obviously, this is the ruler of Scorpio. Again, we've got this Plutonic vibe. It's also squaring your ruler, Saturn. Um, so this can be uh, tricky if you don't, again, remain aware. So um, anything that comes up kind of like from below, like from the underworld, um, just try and like look at it. Just be like, okay, where did this come from? You know, where, what, when was the first time in my life that I felt like this? Was it as a child? Am I, am I still like carrying some of that wound with me? Um, why am I behaving like that with the other person? Why might that person be behaving like that with me? Um, yeah, it's all about, all about these dynamics and being able to see them a bit clearer without getting too caught up um, in feeling bad about them. That's really the trick of it, um, is to kind of take a step back emotionally if you can um, and allow it to transform because this full, this full moon, it can set changes in your life um, that will affect you for a long time to come. So it's worth really kind of doing the inner work um, and kind of sitting peacefully with yourself and just allowing yourself um, to feel and to discover what is going on underneath of a thing. Because maybe a year from now, you might look back and say, oh, I'm so glad that I overcome my um, my low self-worth and now I feel confident and I'm putting myself out there more. Like things like this can really, really change at this time. So just, yeah, be honest. Um, be a little bit objective um, and take care of yourself as well. Have a lovely full moon guys and I'll see you next week.